Hello everyone. Welcome to Grade 11 Biology, the Animalia Cram Course. Today I am going to talk about the phylum Mollusca and phylum Annelida. If you have not done so already, um, I got a free app called the Great Eleven Biology Animalia Study App. It contains um, lectures, flashcards, and quizzes that are related to this course. It is completely free and it is available on both iPhone and Android. Uh, if you are interested in this app, uh, please check on my website uh, or the description on this video or even in App Store and Google Play to find out more about this app. The phylum Mollusca consists of members such as the oysters and snails. They usually have a body cavity completely surrounded by the mesoderm also known as coelum. So coelum allows longer and bigger digestive and reproductive system. It is also the simplest animal group to have a circulatory system. This phylum, uh, the organisms within it, can be split into uh, using two types of circulatory system, the open and the closed circulatory system. The closed circulatory system is a system of which there are a network of blood vessels to transport blood. The reason why it is called closed is because the blood is being enclosed in the blood vessels while being transported to the various parts of the organism's body. The open circulatory system on the other hand is when blood flows freely within the circulatory system and organs are submerged within the blood. Uh, the organisms in this phylum also has a highly developed nervous system with which it also has good vision. Again, most organisms in this phylum has sexual reproduction. The phylum Annelida consists members such as worms and leeches. Uh, one of the most distinctive elements found within this uh, phylum uh, is the segmented body design. The segmented body design uh, with which each segment is very similar to the others. The advantage of this is that it could create a new body part without affecting the other body parts. The organisms found within this phylum have a simple nervous system with brain and nerve cord with which it sends signal to each segment via short nerve branches. The members of this phylum only have one way digestive system. Now the organisms in this phylum, some of them have asexual reproduction while others have sexual reproduction. But however, most of them uses a closed circulatory system. This concludes our lecture. Thank you for your listening. Remember, like us or subscribe to our channel for more updates on our lecture materials. Also, download our free app for your iPhone or Android if you have not already done so for flashcards and quizzes that are related to this lecture. 
also check out our website um, as shown in our video description on YouTube for apps and lectures for other units. Thank you. Bye-bye.